Australia's coastlines are rich with thousands of documented and undiscovered shipwrecks, with up to 11,000 recorded, making many prime fishing spots along the coast. Howdy, I'm Dr Erin McGinty and I'm in North Queensland today to take a look at how wrecks create their own ecosystems and some considerations that anglers can have when targeting fish on wrecks. We're going to take this spear gun today because not only do, we, only do we love hanging out on wrecks but sharks do too so it's going to take it in for protection. Let's go check it out. Shipwrecks provide vital shelter for fish by providing complex three-dimensional structures to offer protection from predators. Wrecks provide shelter for larvae, juvenile and adult fish, providing protection throughout their whole life cycle. These wrecks are covered by algae, coral and invertebrates, which form a food source for fish. This attracts smaller bait fish to the wrecks, creating a richer environment for predators to feed on. Shipwrecks effectively function as artificial reefs, attracting a diverse range of demersal and pelagic fish, creating a thriving ecosystem. Isolating a particular species on a wreck during different tidal periods can be quite challenging as both pelagic and demersal fish are chasing the same bait fish. Historically, pelagics are thought to sit higher in the water column and demersals down lower to the wreck, but I've found some conflicting patterns. During high current periods, both are found on the pressure edge of a wreck. So this is where the current hits the wreck and pushes plankton up where bait fish feed on those plankton. This attracts both pelagics and demersals to the same area where they use different feeding behaviours to feed on the bait fish. <laughs> I have an intermission. Oh, got a big golden trevally here. So these guys usually sit just off the wreck, which is where I was actually digging. Should have known better. <laughs> Wasn't ready for this workout this morning. Oh, good cold and trevally. Not the target species, but good fun on jig. During low current periods on the change of the tide, both pelagics and demersals can be found roaming around the shipwreck looking for disorientated prey. <laughs> All right, so we're driving away from the wreck and just found what looked like to be better fish on the bottom. They were hugging the bottom quite tight. Good size. So they dropped the jig down. And back to a workout. It's going to China. You just don't want to leave these guys down there too long because there's a lot of sharks in this wreck. I need to grow big arm muscles. Yes, trevally. So it turns out those fish were diamond trevally. Pretty cool fish to catch, pretty unique. This pelagic was caught down low, hugging a piece of the wreck on the change of the tide. During this change of the tide, both pelagic and demersal fish can also be found higher up in the water column. <laughs> Only? Why? Wasn't ready. Because wrecks create their own isolated ecosystems, they can attract a vast array of target-worthy species. Personally, when I'm fishing a wreck, these are the guys I'm chasing. It is difficult to target a particular species on wrecks because they're small, isolated structures where both pelagics and demersals are found in the same locations. So it might take some sifting through species to get your target fish. 